Before we start our lesson for today, I would like to share with you a magical learning experience right at home. Enroll now at Vival's Happy Homeschool Program. You can find the details in the description of this video. Let us discover the joy of learning together! Have you ever heard the words amihan and habagat from the weather reporters? What do you know about them? In today's lesson, we are going to learn about them. Are you ready to learn with me? Come on! Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of our Scientific Friday! I am Teacher Janelle and I'm on a journey to understand the different things around us. Are you ready to join me for today's lesson? Let's go! Did you know that the Philippines is located near the equator? This region is also known as the tropics. The location of a country on Earth affects its weather and climate. In fact, different wind systems prevail in the Philippines at different times of the year. In today's lesson, we will explore the wind systems in the Philippines. Together, we will answer the following questions. What are the wind systems in the Philippines? What are land and sea breezes? And what is an ITCZ or Intertropical Convergence Zone? Whether it's a gentle breeze or strong wind, you are most aware of air when it moves. You can feel it pressed against you. You can also see how the wind affects the objects around you. How can you tell if the wind is blowing in these photos? Air movement takes place in the troposphere. The troposphere is the lowest layer in the atmosphere. Air moves because of the difference in temperature. This difference causes convection currents and wind. The air in the troposphere is warmer when it is near the ground. The warm air rises because it is light. When air rises, this creates an area of low pressure on the surface of the earth. The rising warm air cools when it reaches the top of the troposphere. The air gets denser as it cools so it sinks down to the surface. The sinking air creates an area of high pressure near the surface. Air always flows from an area of higher pressure to an area of lower pressure. Air flowing over the Earth's surface is called wind. The greater the difference in pressure, the stronger the wind blows. Now that we know the definition of wind, we can now move to the wind systems in the Philippines. Let us start with prevailing winds. What are prevailing winds? Prevailing winds are wind systems that blow toward the given direction over a specific region on Earth. There are three major wind systems in the Philippines. These are Northeast Shade Winds, Northeast Monsoon or Amihan, and Southwest Monsoon or Habagat. The northeast monsoon and northeast trade winds blow from the northeast and east and occur in the months of November to February. The Amihan or northeast monsoon brings cold, dry wind. This explains why we experience lower air during December to February, especially in places located north of the Philippines. Amihan originates from the northeast trade winds. The northeast trade wind is the only wind that blows from the northeast and east going to the southeast from February to May. Lastly, the Habagat or southwest monsoon blows from the southwest and it is experienced from June to October. Habagat brings warm, humid air and rain. Southwest monsoon originates from the southeast trade winds. Next are the local winds that blow over a specific area. Local winds are influenced by the local geography and topography. Nearness to bodies of water like oceans, lakes, and landforms like mountain ranges can affect the local winds. Ocean water warms up and cools down slower than the land. 
So, the surface of the sea is cooler than the land during daytime. During the night, the opposite is also true. The surface of the ocean is warmer than the land. The difference in the temperature between the two areas causes the local winds called land and sea breezes. The sea breeze blows from the sea to the land during the day. That's when the air over the land is warmer than the air over the water. The warm air rises creating an area of low pressure on the land. On the other hand, the cool air over the ocean generates an area of higher pressure. This causes the cool ocean air to replace the warm air from the land. The land breeze blows from the land to the sea during the night. That's when the air over the water is warmer than air over the land. The warm air rises creating an area of low pressure over the ocean. On the other hand, the cool air from the land generates an area of higher pressure. This causes the cool air from land to replace the warm air from the ocean. Land and sea breezes blow because of daily differences in heating and air pressure. The Intertropical Convergence Zone or ITCZ is a low pressure zone that circles the earth near the equator. This area is where the northern and southern trade winds or easterlies meet. In the ITCZ, the heat of the sun raises the temperature of the ocean as well as the air over it. This is why the air pressure in the ITCZ is low. Rainfall and thunderstorms are also common in the ITCZ. The ITCZ follows the movement of the sun. During the summer months in the northern hemisphere, it shifts its position to the north. On the other hand, during the winter season, the ITCZ shifts its location to the south in the northern hemisphere. This shifting in the position of the ITCZ results in the wet and dry seasons in the tropics. This is why the Philippines has only two seasons. Before we end our discussion, let us see if you still remember the things we have discussed today. What are the three major wind systems in the Philippines? What is the difference between land and sea breezes? What is an ITCZ or Intertropical Convergence Zone? Great job in answering our short activity for today! And that's all for today! Make sure to remember today's lesson and dig deeper about the wind systems, local winds, and the ITCZ. Before we end our lesson for today, I am inviting you again to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now in Vibal's Happy Homeschool Program. You can find the details in the description of this video. Hope to see you there! I hope you learned a lot today. Make sure to apply what you learned in your daily life. Join me again on our next Scientific Friday and together, let us discover things around us. Because science is everywhere! This has been Teacher Janelle for Teacher Vibal. Goodbye, everyone!